One of the newest prisons in Tennessee is also quite possibly the most dangerous in the state, with reports of substantial gang activity and violent attacks on both inmates and staff. This privately run prison holds a dangerous reputation in the state. October 14th, 2022, 8.45 p.m. Two officers were stabbed by two inmates. The injuries of the officers were so severe that they were flown by helicopter to Vanderbilt University Medical Center for treatment. According to the public affairs officer, it was an unprovoked attack against two facility employees. Not even a month later, three officers were assaulted by offenders. November 6th, 2022, 8 p.m. Two officers in a housing unit were conducting their count. For an unknown reason, inmates inside the unit refused to comply. It is likely they refused to bunk up. Two staff conducting the count were assaulted. When a third officer responded, they were also assaulted. It does not appear that the injuries to staff were serious. This is just two examples of the violence at Trousdale Turner Correctional Center. I previously published a video on the dangerous prisons of Tennessee. And many of you said that this prison is the most dangerous and should have been included on my list. We'll take a look at some of the ongoing issues at this prison and other serious concerns at this privately run facility. Let's get into it. Trousdale is a newer facility, having opened in 2016. This prison was a long time in the making, with controversy from the start. Construction of the facility began in 2008, which wasn't exactly the best year in America. Economic disaster had struck, and the great housing market crash was in full swing. Given that this was a private venture, economics is often the only consideration for the project. In 2009, Corrections Corporation of America, or CCA, announced that the plan was on hold. This left the community in limbo as it was depending on the jobs and tax revenue. The county executive said, They've got several million dollars already invested in it. I doubt they're going to walk away from it. They wouldn't, and construction would finish in 2016. The prison lies in the shadow of the canceled Hartsville nuclear plant with a large cooling tower looming nearby. The total cost of the facility was $143 million. The state of Tennessee signed a contract with CCA, agreeing to pay $277 million to house inmates at Trousdale from 2016 to 2021. Corrections Corporation of America now goes by the name Core Civic, which owns and operates the prison. Coincidentally, Core Civic was founded in Nashville, Tennessee, and now has its headquarters in Brentwood, Tennessee. This is a massive corporation with $1.845 billion of revenue in 2022. It also employs over 14,000 staff nationwide. Needless to say, this company has massive influence on governments across the country. The prison is located in the consolidated city county of Hartsville, Trousdale, Tennessee, a rural area northwest of Nashville with only approximately 11,000 residents. It is the smallest county by area in Tennessee. From the start, it would be a disaster. The prison would accept many of the problem inmates at West Tennessee State Penitentiary, which was in the middle of a violent year. A 2017 audit of the prison found it to be non-compliant with many state and federal guidelines. State Representative Mike Stewart said of the findings, Today, we have explosive findings. Clearly, we have core civic facilities that are a powder keg waiting to explode, potentially endangering the public. A 2020 audit also had similar findings, with staff shortages being a major issue. It also noted that the salaries were extremely low. Core Civic raised officer salaries to 1650 an hour. I'm not sure that's worth dealing with all the issues at this prison. Inmate on inmate murders at this prison are not uncommon. In 2020, Jacob Cato was charged in the death of his cellmate. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation alleged that Cato was involved in a fight with his cellmate, Ernest Hill. Hill was transported to a local hospital, but would not survive. Cato was convicted in the 2015 death of his father. He claimed that his father had a heart attack, but the autopsy showed that he died from blunt force trauma to the head. He pled guilty to voluntary manslaughter and was sentenced to 12 years in prison. Cato had a lengthy criminal record, 
prior to his incarceration at Trousdale. Another man, Frank Lundy, was also murdered at the prison in 2020. He was found at the entrance of the housing unit, deceased. Another inmate was taken to segregation, but it does not appear he ever faced any charges. Lundy was convicted of crimes against children and was listed on the state registry. It was reported that in 2020 alone, 25 inmates died at this prison. More recently, in May 2022, an inmate, Demario Caldwell, was indicted on attempted second-degree murder charges after he assaulted a fellow inmate, Jesse Slade. Another attempted murder charge was brought against DeAndre Ellis. It was alleged that Ellis sharpened a piece of rebar and attacked correctional officer Demetrius Walker in September 2022. Ellis was no stranger to murder charges, as he was convicted of first-degree murder for the 2018 killing of another man in a parking lot of In-N-Out Convenience Store in Clarksville, Tennessee. Lawsuits have been filed against CoreCivic. The family of Terry Childress sued following his death at the facility. Childress was killed by his cellmate in 2021. It was reported that the cellmate wanted to get transferred out of the facility after being labeled as a snitch. In a now deleted tweet, the attorney on the case called Trousdale a death factory. He also tweeted that the prison juices its profit margins by deliberately understaffing facilities and skimping on healthcare. CoreCivic would settle the suit for an undisclosed amount. The prison briefly banned the Quran and did not allow Muslim inmates adequate access to religion. Offender Boaz Pleasant Bay sued the company. In his complaint, he alleged that he was unable to exercise his religious beliefs at Trousdale Turner, while Christian inmates received more favorable treatment. This case was also settled. In this prison's short history, there have been five wardens to oversee the facility. This seems like an unusually high turnover rate for the leadership role. Martin Frink stepped down as warden for a new opportunity in February 2023, with the assistant warden, Vince Fantel, taking over for Frank. This wouldn't be a prison in America without some staff facing criminal charges. In April 2022, correctional officer Erica Vaughn was arrested for bringing marijuana into the facility. Just a month prior, Denise Haggard was also arrested for bringing illegal drugs into the prison. This time, it was deadly fentanyl. Even worse is Supervisory Officer Keenan Lister. He pled guilty to beating an inmate who was being escorted to segregation after he assaulted an officer. A massive outbreak of COVID-19 occurred at the prison quite possibly the most serious in the country. At one point, over half, 1,300 inmates, tested positive for COVID. CoreCivic came under fire for their response to inmates with COVID at their facility. Family and friends of inmates voiced their concerns to the news media. A spokesperson for CoreCivic downplayed the outbreak, saying, the rate of infection at the Trousdale Turner Correctional Center is consistent with or below what is being reported by other correctional systems nationally. There have been many calls to close the prison. The NAACP called for the closure of the prison due to its barbaric treatment of inmates. A change.org petition was also started to petition the government for action, with some people having strong opinions about the prison. Trousdale Turner Correctional Center has a history of murder and mayhem, likely made worse by the lack of staffing and proper medical facilities. It may be one of the most dangerous prisons in Tennessee. This was another prison profile by Chasing Crime. Thanks for watching. As always, see you next time.